I have fasted, I guess. I went 10 days. Since I started having those, um, I, I really actually had stopped the longer fast because I kept on running into you're being a Jonah, you're being a reluctant saint when it goes past those 10 days. And I don't know how to, I really don't understand what any of that means, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna quit. It just means I just scaled back. But I started to put out a video saying, you know, if you pray and, and if you repent, you know, I, I believe that warning to America Keith Daniel, which I know that the Lord had me, used me as an instrument to put that out. I knew that if repentance was, was happened, that, that really isn't anything possible with God. That's exactly what the, the sermon said, and, and I believe that. But the thing is, is that there are persecuted Christians who these people scour their all their emails all their private messages um they look at everything that they youtube everything that they google and that never stopped not to me not with me and not with other people it never stopped they never repented of it and this 10 days i was also given what i believe well, I believe God showed me that he has a plan to deal with that. It's still the house, the judgment begins in the house of God. I believe with all my heart that these people will have to give an account to this. Now, I put out Norman Williams' sermon, and I'd said from the beginning of last year to this year, I believed, it's, it, to me, it's like God was showing me America is a sinking ship, and I even put it on there. When, along with the warning to America, it's you Christians that are making ship America sink. I didn't know exactly what was going to happen with that, but I know that God had put it on my heart that to, that that's that's and that's what I put, and we see what happened. And that comes from a lot of fasting, and suffering, just absolute suffering in my flesh, in my mind, in my body, in my soul, in my spirit. And then on top of that suffering, I'll go days and days and days at times without food. And, and it's like putting yourself in a place of suffering like that just opens up the door of heaven. And God talks to you. Now, with that Norman Williams thing, I never ever once said, hey, we're going to have World War III, because I didn't. You, you can go back, you know what, I never said that. But I will tell you this, what he showed me with that Norman Williams sermon and Ship of Fools, that is actively happening. It is progressing, actively progressing. I don't care whether you believe me or not. Yeah, that's between you and God. It's not for me to convince you of that. Half the time, I can hardly believe some of the stuff that I'm shown because it's so wild. But I believe that uh, that it is it's progressing, and it, and it's and it's like a like birth pains. It's going to keep on ramping up and ramping up and ramping up. And, and we see that happening. And let's see, trying to think of anything else. And I see these same people who, who I know have hacked into my stuff. They listen to, they listen to a phone call that I talked to with my, with my ex-husband. Well, we're still married, we're separated. And I wonder if they ever think how they'd feel if somebody did that to their beloved wife who they just seem to think that is wonderful and adore and, and, and do that to their daughter and do that to their family. They never think about it. So I, I sit back and I watch them be as vicious as viperous snakes. And you know what I know? I know their day is coming. And I forgive them because I won't ever, ever, ever want to be in their shoes because I see it ahead. I've already walked with the Lord on this, and he's told me to hold steady, just to wait on him. You who do those kinds of things, 
Your day is coming. I know you think that it won't. I know you think you're, you're okay to do it. And you, you don't have the capacity, the love, or any kind of emotional stability inside your soul to consider what you would feel like had it been you who this had happened to. See, how can you love God who you don't see when you have a sister here that you're doing this to that you can see and you violate my rights, my every, every taboo, every kind of thing that you can cross the line on, you cross it and you think that God doesn't see. You were the reason that ship America was sinking. It was you. And he's not done with it yet. So you go ahead and continue doing what you're doing. And I'm going to hold on to Jesus Christ with all my heart. And I'm going to trust him. And I'm going to endure it. And I'm going to, I'm going to take what you've done to me. And I'm going to forgive. I'm just glad that I'm not the one doing it. I'm glad that my mind isn't so reprobate and my soul so reprobate that I would pick up my phone and click on a link that I could hear you and your family having conversations and knows through everything you do, pictures, everything. If you have a dream, sit and listen to somebody in the bathroom, you sit and do those things. And if you, if you can live with it, you've got your season. See, God's gave you the season. And what he showed me during this fast is this was a big, the great big bird trap. We'll talk about revelations, all right. Revelation 18, a bird cage of every evil that you could think of. And you're in the bird cage. You think you can do that? You want the snake crawling up into the bird cage? Well, there you go. You got it. You ask for it. You got it. Enjoy it. Persecute the real saints all you want. Honey, I'm going to heaven. I'm going where Jesus is. I'm not taking your path. I, I love you. I forgive you. But ain't no way I'm going where you're going. I will not do that. That's the line in the sand. You chose to cross it. I choose to live for Jesus and to fight the good fight of faith and to fight all that I need to fight in this life so that I could be pure before and clean before my God, Jehovah, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen.